welcome back everyone i hope you all had a great break and uh hopefully you found some positive news to, to offset how we ended on <laughs> but we've got some good news aaron's aaron's got us covered with maybe another old game coming with a remaster Aaron, uh catch us up here what's going on yeah so we were talking about resident evil remakes earlier and there's a big rumor going on that metal gear solid like the original the first one might be getting a remake coming to the PlayStation 5 and to the PC. The rumor comes from a content creator known as Red Gaming Tech, who apparently has provided some pretty accurate leaks in the past and has also had some very accurate sources. Uh, and what they're saying is that Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and 4 are also going to get a re-release, but they're not going to be a full remake rather than just remasters, where the full first game, Metal Gear Solid 1, is going to get like a legitimate remake treatment. I'm assuming in the similar fashion to what we got with Resident Evil 2 and uh, and Resident Evil 3. This is actually some pretty cool news if it ends up being true. And I honestly, I see this ending up being true mm -hmm. simply because like there hasn't been anything Metal Gear Solid for a pretty long while. Yeah, And I know that's that's just such a massive, massive franchise for Konami. And they're not going to be able to make a new game, a new Metal Gear Solid without Hideo Kojima on, like working on it. At least in my opinion, I, I don't think that works out from a fan perspective in terms of backlash and also just in general in terms of like making a well-written, well-rounded Metal Gear Solid game without Hideo Kojima at the helm. So what's the next, next best thing? Well, take the already good games that he's made yeah. and just remake them, you know, get some, <laughs> some good visuals, get some good uh, environments, utilize the power of the PS5, throw it on PC, which is going to be pretty huge. Uh, so I, th I think this is going to happen. I, I see this happening. And for someone like myself, who isn't the biggest Metal Gear Solid fan, and I, I'm not even sure if anyone here <laughs> is the biggest Metal Gear Solid fan, Sorry. this could be a nice introduction or yeah. reintroduction rather yeah, now to the franchise yeah well, i think i'm gonna try it i've never i've never really played one besides a couple episodes here and then phantom pain mm -hmm. but i think a good remake could really do it because they can't re really go past idea kojimas right now mm -hmm. so doing a new one well a remaster or remake of a new one could be good but you can wonder how long until people get bored of remakes because yeah. we've got metal gear solid remakes we got final fantasy remakes and we're kind of sick of remakes we like yeah. it but you can't just squeeze it until you get everything out of it you're gonna make new ones someday and how can they do that without audio kishima it's gonna be interesting i think what well, that is a good point Sorry, go ahead. I don't think you guys give Konami enough credit because, I mean, 2016, we had the Metal Gear Solid Pachinko Machine, which came out to, to much hype. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, really I actually had to look that up because I was like, was that, did that actually happen? <laughs> um, yeah. No, but uh, there was also a Metal Gear Solid game they put out where it was like an online co op with zombies. Yeah. And I remember watching gameplay from it and it was like, a catastrophe of a game <laughs> like one of the worst looking games i think i've ever seen the least amount of fun to watch and i imagine it's even less fun to play mm -hmm. so again like konami uh they, they they're talented people that work at konami no doubt about it i can't do what they do mm -hmm. that being said when it comes to metagor solid they're useless <laughs> Hideo Kojima. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I do. Th I do. Th I, I, there's not much I can say against that. I mean, they haven't proven otherwise, right? So, yeah. I think you pretty much need the two. Now that the dust has a bit settled on that whole Kojima Konami um, breakup, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think there is potential to maybe. Re revive that uh i would know, love that kojima kind of got his creative outlet with death stranding however that did actually not sure if it was received as well as he had hoped um i played it i didn't like it then i liked it and then i ended up not liking it in the end so 
Did you play it's it? It's a bit long. Yeah, it's a bit tedious. Like it's I think it's the 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 most beautiful game I've ever played on PS4. Like when it got out, the graphics, the ambience, we even get like famous actors in it. Yeah. Even the music, everything's top notch, but the gameplay is so slow. If you didn't play it, basically you're a carrier going from one side of the US to the other. And it's yeah. long. <laughs> it's, a, I mean, it's an Amazon simulator. Why? It's get this package to, to this point. And eventually you're rewarded with with more things that let you carry the package more efficiently. But up, like that's what you're doing. You're just carrying the package. Yeah. Death Including Stranding, dead bodies of Death relatives. Was one of these, it was one of those games where like the idea is solid. I, I think the storytelling is really good. It's one of those games... And, and this is no disrespect to Hideo Kojima, because honestly, the best part about it is probably what he was trying to like conceptualize. Mm -hmm. It's the story, right? But it's one of those games where you just want to like search up, you know, Death Stranding all cutscenes and yeah. watch and <laughs> and that's it. You know, it that's just that's really the, the problem with the game was they had a really good idea for the story. They had a really good concept and they were like. Let's just make a really good story. And then and then like a week before release, they were like, wait, can people play this game? <laughs> is there any is there anything to do? <laughs> like, no. wait, what happens after the cutscene's over? Guys, hold on. <laughs> just wander. And, yeah. So yeah. it just I don't know. It just didn't work for me. But again, like the, the story is so solid and I like the ideas there and the message that it's trying to send. I know Camille would be really upset at me dissing the game. That's like why that, we're doing but... it now. <laughs> I do. Actually, it's oh, well. not a bad game, um, actually. It's it's just too long. You have cutscenes lasting for like ten yeah. minutes sometimes. You want to play and you're stuck in cutscenes and you can't skip it. You can't go faster. And every time you just launch something, you have dead man coming and telling you, I don't know what. And then you just wander for hours and yeah. it's not rebalanced in this way. I think yeah. the, the gameplay, there, there's a place for it, but it's a very niche type of gameplay. Uh, I don't think it has mass appeal the way that Death Stranding was intended to be this kind of hit and success. It was marketed as, as the game of the year and the game that, well, I mean, yep. it was marketed at the Game yep. Awards come, like time and time again. So, um, But great ideas. I love the idea of that you can help others, like you can help build structures that end up helping others so that you can drop a ladder. Uh, for a hill. Yeah, so you that's... build like literal and figurative bridges, you know, like connecting yeah. people. It's cool. That concept is amazing. I, I love that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. execution probably could have been better. Um, but back to the whole Metal Gear remake, you know, to Ophelia's point, uh, or Ophelia, sorry. Um, you were saying, are we are we seeing too many remakes? And I'm actually going to go against that where I'm, I think we're at a time where remakes are being done very well Whereas when we were like in the Xbox 360, uh, PS3 eras, a lot of the remakes were either, you know, collections or HD resolution, like just upscale all the textures. But now we're getting these these full on remakes when you look at Spyro, um, Crash, Final Fantasy VII Remake, which are either just completely rebuilding the original experience and keeping that intact um, mm -hmm. for a whole new generation or like Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, really tapping into that fan base and giving hitting that nostalgia while also giving something new. And yep. I think this is the perfect time for the Metal Gear Solid franchise to kind of get a reboot in the same way of either you, you bring that, that original game intact with all new modern mechanics and everything refreshed for a new age. And then maybe you build mm -hmm. on top of that by announcing a whole new, like, I don't know, a new timeline or a whole new way to go on yeah. without Kojima. Um, but yeah, the, the time I would be excited for that personally, as someone who has not gone into the Metal Gear Solid franchise yet, but who's really interested in doing it, this would be the trigger for me to be like, all right, let's do this, let's let's pick up. Because to go back and play a PS One mm -hmm. game right now, uh... I mean... wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. That's that because so I played, um, and this is probably my fault, uh, is that I played Phantom Pain because just there was so much hype around it. And, like, I did my research. I didn't just, like, go in blind. Like, I did my research about the story of the games and, you know, leading up to Metal Gear Solid Five, where, like, how we got there. Um, so, like, I had a bit of an understanding of the world and, and characters like Snake and Big Boss and this, that, and the other. 
Uh, but even then, I, I don't know, Metal Gear Solid 5 still didn't work for me. Uh, again, from a gameplay standpoint, and maybe as well from a story standpoint, but I can't really, you know, get too mad at my thoughts on the story because I probably would have been a little more invested had I played through the originals leading up to that. So if they do this remake and then they follow it with the remastering of Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and 4, mm -hmm. I'm down to try and marathon this franchise and see if I'm on board with the greatness that everyone kind of holds it up to be. Yeah. Also, I lied. I did play Metal Gear Solid 2. But that is that is the one okay. that is the one game where you don't play as Snake. It, 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 I guess it was yeah, like yeah, you one play of, as Big Boss, right? You play as I, I think his name is Raiden, not not the one on your shelf. But uh, wait, Raiden? You mean maybe it's Raiden? I don't Raiden, think. To be honest, I don't think. I think you <laughs> only play as him in that in that one like spin off. Game they made. No, no. So Metal Gear Solid Two. I I guess this because I played the whole thing all the way through. Oh, so. is this before he's all? Yeah, yeah, he, he's actually yeah, because there's actually a part where you play as him naked, so can okay. confirm completely biological. Um, the game starts off. I think you're on a ship with with Solid Snake. That's, yeah, that's the main guy, right? That's so embarrassing to say. But uh, the first <laughs> level is with him, and I guess a lot of people were upset because the game was originally marketed as yeah, this is the sequel, and you know, Snake's yes. back and all that. And after the first level, they swap you for this new character, right? In Raiden, however you want to call him. Um, Yukio, spelling it out does not <laughs> help me understand how to pronounce it. Uh, it's Raiden. It's Raiden? Okay. Yeah. And then the rest of the game is just completely him. So a lot of people were upset with that twist. So I don't know if that is a clear, like, it's probably Metal Gear Solid gameplay that I've experienced, but I didn't experience the, the proper gameplay with Snake. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, this could be cool. I'm into it. And then... Yeah, I mean once they do that, then they can also reboot, you know, Silent Hill. They can also reboot Castlevania, mm -hmm, which that'd be great. Like, Konami is just, which leads us to another topic. A lot of people are, are um, it's interesting that you say this rumor says PS5, PC, no Xbox. And yeah. after the whole Bethesda acquisition, some people are saying maybe Sony's eyeing Konami as, as kind of uh, to acquire Konami and get exclusives that way. They did Maybe. shoot some things with Silent Hill, but I think they would have teased it earlier because it would be such... Well, buying Konami would be nice, but they have so many titles PlayStation couldn't exploit, really. I'm not sure yeah. if it's worth it. Really? Yeah, especially without Kojima there. Mm -hmm. uh, and them how already... Like, them already having Kojima... They have Kojima Productions, right? Is that first they party? They're stranding the an exclusive. I think. Yeah, but oh, but is PC it and party? PS4. PS4. Did, did they buy the exclusive, or is Kajama, mm -hmm. Kojima Productions a first party studio for them? Because I know you know like same situation with Insomniac is that they just got the rights for Spider Man to be exclusive, but Insomniac wasn't a first party studio mm -hmm. until like a year or so ago. Yeah, uh, as far as I know, Kojima Production is an independent developer, so I think PlayStation okay. pretty much has. Um, that exclusivity, at least on consoles, because it is on, on the Epic Games Store. It's on now. PC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I mean, the last Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid Five, did come out for both consoles, but I do see a scenario where they wanna they wanna snag this remake PlayStation and get it exclusive for their console. Mm -hmm. um, so it just, it just comes to PS Five, and then you know they'll have the PC release, which will be huge. Uh, I just I just want to see what it would look like, and I wonder when it would be announced. If this is all true, like if all the rumors are to be believed, right, and everything here is confirmed, I wonder when the announcement would be planned to happen. Because I feel like this is one of those like blow the roof off the place kind of announcements for PlayStation, and mm -hmm. and so it almost feels like they maybe would have talked about it already. And the fact that they didn't means that it probably isn't coming out at least until like late 2021. Or yeah, maybe probably. they're still negotiating. Yeah. Could be one or the other. Even, or even maybe it's all fake. Right sells. I don't think it's fake because those rumors have proved viable many times before. And an announcement like that would boost PS5 sales anytime. Big like, time, yeah. You tell that to any Metal Gear Solid fan is going to buy a PS5. Mm -hmm. So whether you announce it now for the pre-orders or in Christmas or even 2021, do you it's going to work. 
do you think fans would buy a PlayStation 5 if they announced uh, a new Metal Gear game if Kojima's name was not assigned to it? Because I know that Kojima has his own, you know, there's, what's the difference between the Metal Gear fan base, the Metal Gear Solid fan base, and the Kojima fan base? If you don't have the two together, is, does that fan base still exist? Like, are people more of a, a fan of Kojima or of Metal Gear Solid? Hmm. In in both cases, it would be on PlayStation, so it's fine. You don't have to choose. Metal Gear Solid would be on PlayStation and Kojima's game as well. So I don't see why it would be an issue. Yeah, I, I well, just given the the last one that uh, Caboose was talking about with the, the zombies, given the reputation of that Metal Gear game, if there was anything else that came out following that, they almost have to like cleanse the palette with a remake like this. It's like, okay, here's here's one you know you trust. Kojima was behind it. We've just yep. updated everything and removed all of the clunky PlayStation 1 elements and made it modern. Yep. And everyone's like, all right, we're on board. And then they're like, okay, now here's our own new take on Metal Gear Solid. And people are going to be like, mm. <laughs> They won't accept it. You don't think they'll accept people it? People will not accept no. no. If Kojima is not working on Metal Gear Solid, yeah. don't make a Metal Gear Solid game. That's tough. Does, it, it, does it, it like, mean the French is dead? It, it would be. I, I do. I do. I think they're going to do these remakes. They'll sell well. They'll be awesome probably because they're just the games that were good, uh, but with new technology. And that's it. Like uh, knowing Konami, though, they'll probably want to make a new Metal Gear Solid game uh, just because like they're probably desperate. Uh, so, it doesn't seem but, that way. It doesn't look like they like making video games anymore. Yeah. What do yeah. they make now instead? Pachinko machines. Like they're making oh, so much yeah. money off pachinko machines. They're like, oh, we could wait here and just let all this money come in from pachinko machines, or we could sink all this development cost into something that might pay out at the end. Like, from mm -hmm. a business standpoint, I don't really blame them, but it's clear that, and I think the Konami has a bunch of. I think they have That's hotels where too. Where their passion maybe. really is. Yeah, and like a lot of the people that are behind the games, I think, have also left Konami. So I don't yeah. even know what's left of the Konami game division, honestly. If there is one. Right. <laughs> is, now, is now a good time for me to admit that like my only connection to Metal Gear that I have is that like in high school, I made my text noise the bring, the, the sort oh, of when you get noticed. Yeah. Just just uh, just so i can just so people can identify me as your local gamer girl <laughs> no, and you don't even clever. play it <laughs> no <laughs> but the fact that you know the <laughs> reference is is points right there yeah, yeah. I'm letting I'm you off the hook because like, i did the same oh, thing that girl games <laughs> or she has a quest for me like if you made it gold i don't know oh, <laughs> true. oh yeah I've been i think that was one of my alerts at some point the quest giver <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, that's it that's all i got did you try <laughs> hiding in a box that's another good one no but i should i should do that next time yeah. but now <laughs> now i'll play the game first before i make my i change my alerts okay it's just about hiding what's wrong that's, that's all that's <laughs> all with the remake i'll do it <laughs> if it happens because it's a rumor so we're not sure oh right right but it probably will happen hopefully. i'm gonna but i'll be playing it on my ps6 just don't Anyway. That's, that's so honestly rumor. probably when it would come out. The way Konami, moves. <laughs> the way Konami moves. Like last year, they put out they they finally bundled their um, old Castlevania games, and they put out this fantastic Castlevania collection, which got me into Castlevania along with the anime. Uh, so you see, the marketing works. And as I'm playing through all this other franchise, I'm learning that a lot of the later Castlevania games are great, like the ones that you can get on Game Boy Advance and. Um, nintendo ds and it's like okay why don't you bundle those into like a follow-up collection now that there's all this castlevania hype going on now that you've you know bundled the old nintendo ones that there's an anime series and then follow all of that hype up with a new castlevania game and last year they announced a new castlevania mobile game and that lasted a year and they just shut down the servers last month this month so it's like what are you doing what are you doing konami <laughs> uh I don't think pachinko we'll machines out. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Has ever played pachinko? Like, is it? I don't even understand no, the appeal of it. I just it. like saying the word pachinko. <laughs> we have to. We have to schedule a trip to Japan and check out a pachinko hall. Oh, okay. count me in. Yeah. <laughs> they usually have them in like anime conventions. Really, I've never seen them. 
Really? I see them like all the time at like oh, every anime convention I've been to. Maybe you're more otaku than I am, so that might be why. Or you go to better conventions. <laughs> oh, probably. I will go with that. I am in America, <laughs> so. Yeah. At least we have that, but we don't even have that right now, but we did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> Alex, can you feed me that, that Amazon, that, that cloud service line? Oh, uh, yeah, but uh, I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, technology evolving, Oof. singularity. Just like in Metal Gear, We're how there's like really out. cool technology, <laughs> and they probably have cloud ser cloud We're gaming. We're all gonna die. And, yes. and gonna True. be in the clouds. And it all starts. Yeah. Which leads us to Amazon yeah. Luna. 